Satnam, everybody. I just wanted to say hi and pop on here as Mercury is stationing. Stationing. So we started this year with Mars, Uranus, and Mercury retrograde. And there was other things. Hey, everybody. That was just like, slow down, slow down. You know, my husband has played so much ba baseball. And there's this thing that they do when they're in the batter's box. And it's, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And what that is, it's like, wait for the right pitch. Wait for your pitch. And this January start has been so like that, right? Like, like, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's not time to jump. It's not time to make big plans. It's, it's been the strangest um, new year, but very, very potent. And here's the thing, this energy, even with the, all the planets going direct, and we will have everything direct by next uh, week on the 22nd. Actually, I think that's Sunday, because Uranus will be direct. So yes, we have this amazing all systems go, but on an energetic level, there is this, this message from the higher about go within, go within. Um, go slow at the beginning of this year. Go within. It's, it's a lot about protection too, protection. Now, I wanna give you something about this. So when the sun goes into Aquarius, it's gonna be on Friday, I think at like 3 a.m. in California, zero degrees Aquarius. We wanna all look at where zero degrees Aquarius is in our charts. This is gonna be very important because zero degrees is where Pluto is going to pop in there this year. And Pluto's gonna be Aquarius zero degrees uh, mid-March to mid-June this year. Then it's gonna go in and out, right? And on January 21st, 2024, the sun is going to conjunct. Hey, baby, good to see you, Misha, is gonna conjunct it. So zero degrees Aquarius. I wanna to talk to you about this, this is huge. And so it makes the sun bigger when there's a big planet. I mean, Pluto is so rare. I mean, think about this. It takes its 230 to 50 years to come back to the same sign. It has this oval optical circle around that is always changing. So it just depends, okay? So here's what's important for us. Zero degrees, zero is scorpion. There is this ignition here this week about protect, protect the wisdom of your lion's heart and how it connects to the collective. We have to stay right. Now, here's the thing. Whenever, so when the sun is in Aquarius, it's in its detriment. What does detriment mean? It means Aquarius doesn't really dig it. <laughs> and the sun doesn't really dig Aquarius. Not that we all can't be friends because we're evolved. But the reason is, is because Aquarius is the furthest away from where the sun is most comfortable. The opposition, which is Leo. And when the sun is in Aquarius, the earth is in Leo. So always remember the key, so we get all this stuff about Aquarius, the, you know, it's the age of Aquarius, and there's all this um, truth, but it has to be understood about how the Aquarian energy moves the collective, connects humanity into our next evolution. It is the key to peace on earth. It does it through the Yanni, the holy wisdom, connecting the mind to God's mind. It does it with detachment, and it does it what's right for the greater good. Now, us as little people, sometimes we don't like the greater good, right? It's like, it requires compromise. It requires seeing the other person's side of the street. It requires also taking like extreme, extreme responsibility of you and your energy. We all operate different and we have to really be that depletes our energy what we do in our life that enhances our energy and really toe the line on that. So zero degrees Aquarius is a theme in your chart. And so it doesn't matter if you have a planet right there, everybody has zero degrees. So it's been interesting. We've been really in these um, codes with, um, 
with Taurus, the North Node, which interacts with this because Taurus is a fixed sign, so is Leo, so is Aquarius. So Taurus is also ruling Uranus right now, and Taurus is ru ruling the North Node. This is important. So we've been talking a lot about where's your Taurus energy and the degrees between 7 and 12 degrees. Well, for me, it's up there in my career sector. Now, this point that's being related, and I want all of you to look at this, what has Taurus been trying to give you? Because Taurus is all about value. It's all about self-love. It's Venus, and, it, and it's on a holy mission, especially with Uranus and the North Node, to get you to try things you've never done, to get you to look at your life in a way that you haven't, to give up shit so that you could have more peace, more love, and more energy. So that's going on. And now this is going to get, as, as Taurus creeps down to zero degrees, there's going to be some moments where that hits Pluto, right, at zero degrees. There's going to be these realizations. So then it's going to matter where is zero degrees in your chart. So for me, my Aquarius starts in the sixth house and goes into the seventh house. Is that right? No, I'm sorry. It starts in the seventh house and goes into the eighth house. So I know that zero degree point is on, in my relationship house. The things that, so the one-on-one, -on -one, the, the ones I make deals with, I got to be really, the ones I sign on the dotted line, my husband, those are going to be where I have it. If you have it in the fifth house, it's going to be, all right, this is about your creativity. This is about you having more fun and protecting your time. So very easy to know this, and I want you to know this is powerful, life-changing energy. Um, when we have something that stretches out for months or years, like we do with nodes, it keeps touching it. Bam, bam, bam. Touching these themes that we are healing. I know the world looks scary, but I want, I cannot stress enough, don't be scared. <laughs> And as somebody who is piglet in the story of Pooh, you know, I have a thing about that. I'll go over it one more time. I think everybody is a character in the Pooh story. So Winnie the Pooh, he just loves life. He just wants to, you know, I'm piglet. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Now, if I can pretty much maintain bravery and happiness, anybody can. <laughs> and so what we do when we start to feel afraid is really important. Breath work and nature also eat alkaline. Try to stay away from anything that's going to mess up your system because it makes it harder when your body can't do it. This is a holy vehicle. And also, when we let the mind go down the rabbit hole and endless YouTubes and endless information, you are responsible for what you, you select and say, play. Is it going to give you... Um, is it going to nourish your heart? Is it going to um, optimize your soul? Is it going to give you hope? Stay away from the fear mongering. I'm telling you, if there's something really horrible that's happening, you'll find out. You don't have to go looking for it. Okay? We don't have enough news about what is right and what is good. And I want you and I to be the, the news of joy makers. To make that our priority, to get on here and tell people what's going right in your life, how you're facing your addictions, how you, what practices you love that are, that are making it easier for you to be here and enjoy your life. That's what we need to share with each other. We need to encourage each other. We need to really pray for all of those that are trying to help humanity. One of the things I do that keeps me connected to the collective is... When I'm in my sadhana, I go through the leaders of the world. You know, even Elon Musk and these males that have a super much a lot of power and I don't necessarily like what they're doing. <laughs> but I pray for them. I pray for them, for, for them to have um, the enhancement of hope, faith, and love in their hearts, minds, and auras. That they feel that the actions they take in life, how it affects everyone around them. I pray for people I cannot stand kind of <laughs> and it's actually helping me relate to them as humans instead of people who I think are naughty so that's something you can do and it's important it's so important you pray for the people that are creating the the bad stuff pray for them God can do anything 
God has shown that. God has taken the most evil person and whipped their hearts open and, and had them testify to love. It can happen. It does happen. We have to be willing to make the effort of prayer for them and be people of dignity, be people of great grace in our own lives. This is a magical, magical day. As Mercury stations, we start to have clarity, but with this forward, I love you too. I love you. I'm so glad you're on here. I just um, did finish the cert for Vanessa. Anyway, um, one of your sisters in training. So I, um, I want to really put down the gauntlet about what we can do at this time is go slower even okay so here's the thing all of the energy is moving forward now by the by Sunday no part but there's still there's like this call for a cocoon to be in a cocoon of love to to really weigh your options to really go slower than you're used to you know like there's this what there's a situation in my life actually a couple where there's these beautiful women that I would love to engage and help and do things with but I gotta be honest, my plate is like beyond full. <laughs> you know, it's like, and I'm, and what I'm doing, I'm taking a staycation, although I'm gonna teach tonight. I wasn't gonna, but it looks like I am. Anyway, my staycation is decluttering. You should see the pile of shit, y'all. It's amazing. In fact, I'm gonna show you. And this is just, I've only done two things. So for grandma, first, I had to go through all their toys and get rid of a bunch of shit. And then second, has was my um clothes today is paper and i think it'll go into tomorrow but look at all of this and that's just the beginning so there is a real call to get rid of everything that you don't need or want to really you know we've heard of those processes to hold what we whoop, what we want you know what brings us joy and then if it if other things don't bring us joy get it the fuck out of there and i'm telling you Here's the thing, everything in our lives takes energy. So if you look at my life, look, and you know, I do this, so you look at yours. Every friend, every lover, so like for me, me and Tony, ton of prana with Tony, and Tony comes with a mom and, and a dad that we're involved with, dad lives with us, okay? Then the other thing is, yes, clothing through all my clothes, right? Ah, yay, go for it, Kelsey. So everything we own and everything we have a relationship costs you energy. <sighs> um, so here's one of the things, I just wanna say this. When I was throwing things out, I had a lot of shame. There were things that still had tags on it and I've never worn them. Obviously, I'm not gonna fucking wear them, you know? And so I felt bad and like, oh, you know, like you wasted money and you didn't, and I had to just love me. It's okay. One of the biggest things with the matrix is to keep us in that commercial hamster wheel, buying, buying, using, get rid of, buying, using, get rid of, buying, using, get rid of. And it, it's, it's too much. It's too much, right? So we cut down the prana by getting rid of stuff and we make wise decisions about what we are going to get involved with. Of course, I would love to like do these things with these goddesses, with other circles and all of that. But the truth is, I'm really heavily into cre uh, you know, um, creating this. I do these transformational light sessions. I wanna be, be able to do them in group. I knew this would happen so that more people can get it and it's affordable and juicy. <laughs> so. I need my energy for that, right? And we're starting a training. So you've got stuff in your life too. Hi, Des, I love you. Oh, you guys are saying hi to each other. I love that. You guys are so adorable. Anyway, um, we need to really appreciate this cocoon energy and I'll end with this. So the planets are direct. So there's a lot of joy and juice and I want you to move slow in it. I want you to still harness the energy for you. I cannot stress enough, please, please, please have a morning sadhana and have, have an evening one. Even if the evening one is like really short and here's the thing, never has it been more important to cleanse the mind and the aura before you go to bed. You know, now I, I often do my evening sadhana like at 4.30, then we go for a walk and then we eat dinner. 
And now it's getting to where, like, I don't want to watch anything on that big square in the evening because I don't want anything in my third eye and on my aura. Although yesterday I did watch Jesus from The Chosen because I fucking love that. Anyways, um, so this is, we are in this pocket until April that is really saying to us, Take good care of your energy. Go slower than you think. Really weigh your decisions and where you allow yourself to be and what you allow yourself to be exposed for. Really pay attention to your yeses and even more attention to your noes. Is it hard for you to say, no, that's not for me? Do you have any suggestions for Kriyas during this time? You know, we, yeah, uh, it's actually a meditation. We have been chanting, um, Guru Guru Wai Guru Guru Ram Das, and it has been amazing. With this mudra, this is what, it's called, what it looks like, right here in front of the solar plexus. And I will send you one, Anna. I will send you, um, we have the, uh, the YouTube of this Believe Meditation. We're right in the middle of it. Now, you don't have to do the 12th Purdy, but yes, this it's the consciousness mudra, and you do it right here, and you want to do a really powerful guru guru wai guru guru ram das guru 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 because you're hitting this meridian. I know Des can attest to this. Um, when you do this, that that mantra, it's called the miracle mantra. The activation in in the skull, in the third eye, in the pituitary pineal is woo, and then the trick is Anna is to sit then sit in silence that's when your consciousness just opens up and you and, and and think of it this way i am now being nourished and just let the universe nourish you some of us um have been experienced with that uh, joe Dispenza, you know dr joe i really want us all to do that when we finish chanting sit and be in the void be in sophia's womb all that you know and want is right there, like massaging you. It's energetically there. Don't try to grab it. Don't name it. Instead, be with it. If you trust being with it, will manifest your dreams, you're going to be taken to the promised land. We are being advanced, you all, especially people that do, do this work with me. We are graduating from... It's almost like, you know, affirmations and vision boards and listing it out. I'm not saying you don't do that at all, but that's like training wheels, y'all. When you get really good at your knowing you're sitting in the consciousness of all that is, you are, you are pulling it in. The trick is not to name it. Just sit with it. In your waking life, that's when you might, oh, God, that came through in the side night. And you maybe, maybe you write it out or you put it on the calendar. I'm going to do group transformational life set. I mean, that, those are the things that come to me. Like, Marcia, <laughs> this. But I don't like, you know how when you get a good idea, you like when I go, oh, my God, fuck yeah. You know, don't. <laughs> just, like, just, mm, like, just, you know, get lovey with it. Just like, mm, just let it come. Let it sit. Let it become a part of you. I'm telling you, I mean, look at Des, all of you, Misha, there's like some of the greatest manifestors on here with me right now. Here's the thing. We already know you, and like Misha was saying this, we already know you can um, grab the steering wheel and make it fucking happen. I'm saying, let go of the steering wheel, you know, Jesus, take the wheel, basically, right? Because you're, God is giving us way more than we can imagine. And all of you that are watching this and that come to Great Your Mind, you're, you're in it. You're ready. You are ready to take the training wheels off, training wheels off, and really sit in that space and then feel it, watch it come. By April, I'm telling you, you are going to have things on your calendar, healings that you wanted to manifest, and it is going to be like, check. Fucking A. But you, it's going to be like, far easier far more powerful, far more abundant than you've ever, ever achieved. I promise. But, and this is, this is the cultivation time. So it's all systems go, right? And so it's kind of like, you know, your heart is like revving up. Goddess, sit with it still. Sit with the power. 
Let it percolate. Let those packed thought forms of God land in the stillness where there is infinite space in front of you, behind you, to the size above and below you. Sit in that space at, like the holy goddess that you are and just feel it with God. In the next three months, it's all going to come together. Okay, I love you, Anna. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and sign off. That's my message. Things are going direct, potent energy. I just want you all to just get in there and oh, soak it in because God has big plans for us and we all need to stick together. Hearts to everyone. I love you. I love you. I love you. Satnam.